Hello everybody and welcome to another Jarrison Time informational video. In the following video, we'll be taking a look at sending SMS notifications to employees. SMS notifications can be sent to employees individually or in bulk on Jarrison Time, provided the SMS settings are configured. Once we are in Jarrison Time, let's begin by checking the employee phone number. To do this, we'll head over to the icon bar and click on the employee details icon which will open up the employee window. Once here, we can select the personal one tab to access the required information. On the left side of the window, near the bottom, there is a field labeled mobile phone. This is where we should enter the employee's phone number. If we do not enter a phone number here, the system will not be able to send an SMS. Once done, we need to click on the close button. Next, we will set up the messages that will be used for the SMS notifications. To do this, we should go to the menu bar and select Setup, then SMS Messages. This will open up the predefined SMS Messages window. To create a new message, simply click on the Add Message button on this window. This will generate a text field where we can type our message. Once we're done typing, we can click on the Save button. When we no longer need a message, we can use the Delete Message button. After finishing with this window, we can click on the close button. We can now look at sending the SMS notifications. Let's navigate to the menu bar, click on action and click on send SMS to employees to open the send SMS window. In the window, we'll notice that the name of a particular employee is displayed. This is because the employee has been selected from the employee list. If we want to send an SMS to all the employees, we'll have to click on the employee list Scroll up to the top until we see all employees in list. Select the option and we'll see that the send SMS window reflects the selection that we have just made. Then we need to click on the message drop down and choose the message that we want to send to our employees. After that, we can click on the send button. The system will load and display a message showing the number of SMS messages sent. This number will be equal to the number of employees who have phone numbers saved in the system. The employees who do not have phone numbers will not receive the SMS message. We can then click on the OK button and continue working with Jarrison Time. That will be all for the video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.